Hello, everybody. It's good to see you today. And Eric, thank you so much. Congrats on an amazing conference. I'm really excited to be here and talk to you guys about rapid app development. Um, well, I want to tell you guys a little bit about Sincerely first. Our goal is to help the world be more thoughtful. And we've built the world's largest gifting network. We have 1.2 million members, over 1.6 million mailing addresses, and we've shipped physical products to 800,000 homes. Now, the, the whole strategy behind our company is actually a lean startup strategy. Here are a couple of our products. The first product you'll see up there is an app called, a product called Postagram. Send a picture from your phone as a postcard. Uh, we have another product called Ink Cards. It's a great way to send your holiday cards this time of year. That's a design that was done by Shepard Ferry this election season. And then down on the bottom is an app that just launched a few days ago. It's called Sesame. And we allow you from your phone to send themed gift sets from your phone. Now, when I said our whole company has been uh, a lean startup strategy, that is uh, defined by the fact that we started with what I believe is the simplest gift that you can send in the mail, which is a physical postcard. So I, I was thinking, I want to help build this network of where everybody lives, so I never have to ask that question, hey, can you send me my mailing address? I want to send you a birthday present. And I thought, what is the simplest product that you can send in the mail? It's a postcard, and I can send it anywhere in the US and charge my customers 99 cents. Um, and that's where we started, and, and now, now we're sending full physical gifts. So what I want to talk about is our, uh, is our first year, and then give you guys 10 tips that we've uh, used to do rapid app, de app development. So let's look at our first year. Um, what you guys will have seen as the public was us launching Postagram in May on both Android and iOS, then Pop Booth in July. Uh, we launched an iOS library that 30 app developers integrated with to send postcards from their app. Then we launched Sincerely Ink Cards, our greeting card lineup, right before the holidays. And then another app called Dottie, a photo um, prints app for your phone. This was done with a team of six people in under one year shipping all those apps. What you didn't see was that before we launched Postagram, we launched something called Postcards from Santa. And then after that, we launched, some, launched something called 99 Cent Prints by Mail. And then before we launched our ship library, we actually launched our own app that used our library. Uh, and then uh, in December, we launched another app uh, called Cardinal. Nine products in 12 months on mobile. Why did we need to do this rapid development on, on, mob uh, on uh, mobile? We had a lot of stuff to learn. How is commerce different on mobile? How does the audience react? What are purchasing flows like? We had to figure out things like physical delivery. We're sending products all over around the world. Um, and so we had to come up with quick ways to do rapid app development. First thing that we did um, is the place to start for anybody, which is to start with your minimal viable product. I talked about these apps that you haven't heard of. The first one was called Postcards, by Sa Postcards from Santa. And it allowed a parent to send a picture of Santa to their kids in the mail. Um, all this app did was you could choose one of a few pictures. It asked you for your credit card. And then we actually got physical cards being printed and sent out in the mail. We solved two of our biggest challenges, billing and printing. We then launched 99 cent prints by mail. We added one new element, which let you send your own picture in the mail. But you could still only send it to yourself, to one address. And then finally, we launched Postagram, which is the first app that really encapsulated the vision of allowing you to take a photo on your phone and send it as a printed postcard in the mail to your friends and family. Now, how do we do this? And why did it look so great when we launched Postagram? It's because we did all this off-brand. So we have a separate iTunes account, Apple account, just for testing off-brand stuff. Um, and Or we'll test stuff in Canada. Um, these apps, we don't care. One of the best things about this is your developers aren't worried about, oh, my name's on this thing. What are people going to think? We don't care what it looks like. Um, we don't care if it breaks. All we care about is if we learn that it works and that people like it. There's off-brand. There's on-brand. Um, so what I'm able to do is then de-emphasize visual design. I have amazing people on my team. If you download our apps, we have some beautiful products. But unfortunately, we can't afford that kind of time uh, when we're trying to figure stuff out the lean startup way. So uh, we especially de-emphasize design on our off-brand products, but we don't de-emphasize interaction design. That's actually what we're trying to figure out. And another thing we do, since we don't care about the design that much, engineers can actually do their design. I don't care what a button looks like. And that's very powerful. Another thing that we've done um, to really make app development quick is we have lots of reuse common components. So here's an example of our address book a user's address book across three of our apps, Sesame, Ink Cards, and Postagrams. All these products send different types of product. All these apps send different types of products. They all use the same address book. 
Now, if you're not launching with PR, you're not cross-promoting to your existing users, you have to buy cheap disposable users. So, um, you know, I find places like StumbleUpon, iAds, TapJoy, even Google AdWords, just to find a couple users to get in the door. And honestly, we treat these users as disposable. They've, they teach us what we need to learn and often will kill the product that they're on. Speaking of killing products, you, if you're going to do this, you need to be willing to kill products. And it can be hard whenever some of these products are actually making a little bit of money. And all of us like to make money. Um, I, I'm happy to say we're actually killing one of those early products called Dottie this December. It hasn't been announced to our customers yet. But um, it's, it's outside of our strategy. We learned it's not important to our business, and we're going to be killing it. Another thing that you will learn is that it is much quicker to test on Android than it is on iOS. Uh, Android apps have no approval process. Android app, uh, Android app updates go live within hours. Uh, Apple updates take off into seven days. And this is the closest thing we have in the mobile world to the web. And so if we're trying to do rapid iteration on an invite flow or on um, uh, a new price point, we are often testing that stuff inside Android. Google, I love you. Thanks for being out there. Um, now, the eighth tip I want to talk about is that we believe APIs are everything. And we don't think about those just in terms of the external world, but we think about them in terms of the internal world. So everything like our payment processing, order fulfillment, user accounts, address book, transactional emails, were all built with intern with inside of an internal API. And then our uh, developers actually don't ever, our product developers, our app developers, don't even need to touch a database. Um, then what we found was, hey, we've built this great internal API. We can make an external. Now we have over 60 mobile apps that use our postcard printing API, including Facebook uh, in a partnership called, with an app called Facebook Postcards. Um, another thing that's important is to think about how to structure your team. Um, so we have this internal API that allows them, uh, our uh, developers to do things like send postcards, create accounts. And then what we do is we pair up a team of a developer and a designer to go and build each of these apps. And if you're building an off-brand app, like I talked about, you don't even need a designer. Just let a developer do it. And the final thing um, I really try to focus on for rapid app development is to minimize interdependencies. One of the worst things you can see in a company is whenever a developer is saying, oh, I couldn't get this done because the design mocks weren't ready, or I couldn't get this done because I don't know how to send emails. What I try to do as a CEO and founder and leader in our company is I try to uh, empower our developers to have four to six hours of uninterrupted magic each day. Um, and this is one of the fastest and most important things you're going to do to make sure that your team has uh, success in rapid app development. So I hope that was helpful. hope it was practical. Uh, again, my name is Matt Brezina, uh, co-founder and CEO of Sincerely, and thanks for having me.